what's happening guys as you can see here I'm working on the uh, the DIY power supply that I'm gonna give away to one of you lucky guys when it's done and I've got most of the stuff in I need for it and you can see I've removed the um, pots from the circuit board and uh, mounted them or mounted them but at attached them to some wires so that we can mount them in the enclosure and now like I said I've got most of the stuff in I was looking today at you know trying to think exactly how I'm gonna put this together these aren't the pots these are just you know stand-ins basically and I'm thinking something along these lines and then I've got the power switch which I was thinking either you know put it off on the side or I could offset the display a little bit and you know maybe stick the power switch like that so in the comments below tell me which way do you think looks better like this or like this but anyway back to the power supply you can see in addition to removing the pots from the board I still have this small transformer on here here's why so I ordered a proper 24 volt transformer from our friends in China and I was getting ready to solder it up and I'm looking at these wires here now let, let's let's have a little zoom in here for just one second and now let me see if I can get this to focus I don't know how well you can tell what that is but that shit is copper wire that's been tinned garbage absolute garbage so I, I'm not even using that I'll have to source source one domestically but anyway like I said I'm working on that and I was I was thinking about replacing the small switching transistor here so I grabbed the old transistor tester you know absolutely one of my favorite tools to use you know, I recommend it to you guys all the time and nothing I changed the batteries I even took off and changed out the switch absolutely freaking nothing it's dead it worked fine when I put it away and now I get it out and it's dead very disappointing so here's what we'll do huh? what do you think about that I ordered the latest version this one is called the M tester and it, it still uses the uh, AT Mega 328P for the brains of it but it's got the nice zip socket and the bigger screen that arrived today as well so I thought we'd give it a test out and see how she does so let's zoom in here so you guys can get a better idea of what it's looking like well, pardon me always bumping the doggone camera oh now it's not gonna focus there we go alright so let's try some things a resistor that's a thing right clamp her in the ziff and hit the button and what do we get hey look at that 1002 ohms and that is a 1k resistor so uh, that's pretty cool I'm liking it I'm liking it here's one of these funky absolutely no name no marking whatsoever transistors let's see what she's got so it's an NPN as you can see here base collector emitter uh, the the uh, amplification is 439 and the forward voltage is 596 millivolts so at least I can identify this now and know how to use it 
Let's see how it does with capacitors. Here's a teensy tiny one. I think this is a uh, hundred pico or hundred puff, as you say. What do we got? What do we got? Hundred and three puff. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, Money Penny. Very nice. Here's a 470 microfarad e electrolytic. Should always discharge them before you try and test them. And round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. What do we got? What do we got? 462 microfarads with an equivalent series resistance of 0.29 ohm and a V loss of 0.6%. Very nice, very nice. How about a tantalum capacitor? Can she read the tantalum? I mean, I'm sure she can. It's going to read like any other plate capacitor. What do we got? What do we got? 64? Ooh, 40 nanofarad. I thought it was a 60, but all right. We're still going along pretty good. Diodes. How about a 1N4007? Come on. What do we got? Diode. Yes, sir. -y. I like this because the screen is nice and bright. Easier for you guys to see. How about a Zener? Da -da -da -da. This is a 5 volt Zener. And it knows it's a diode in pins 1 and 3. 770 millivolts with a capacitance of 117 picofarads. And if we put it in backwards, it should read pretty much the same. Because this thing can read in either direction. Yeah. Pretty much the same. Uh, how about how about the old transistor? What's this guy? <laughs> The old eyes have trouble reading the old transistorino. This is a 2N4403. PNP, I believe. I got a bunch of bum transistors, so this one, it may not read it at all. What do we got? What do we got? Two diodes. Okay. And if we flip around the other direction, two diodes. So, like I said, I got some bums. That one might be one of them. How about the old Mosfetterino? Now, this is different than the, the standard fish tester, but I don't know yet exactly what the difference is. Yep, reads a good end channel, enhanced MOSFET, gate drain source, blah, 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 with a uh, threshold voltage of 1.9 volts. That is correct. How about, I think this is a green LED. Now watch the flashes, because it kind of gives you an insight into how this thing works. There's what, one, two, three, four flashes? So, diode, forward voltage, 2.6 volts with a capacitance of 14 puff. All right, I'll, I'll quit boring you with this. Last one, one of my homemade inductorinos. Inductor. Resistance of 0.8 ohms and inductance of 4.91, let's just call it 5, millihenries. So, very cool. Let's uh, zoom out here a little bit. And I'll tell you what I don't like about it. I don't like that they've got this crystal on the back here, which is why I have these little feet on here, because it makes it not steady. And even with the feet on here, see, eh, that's a fail. I like this one because it just, it sat more or less steady. So, uh, one last thing, some interesting news. Somebody actually bought something off of my wish list and it's being delivered tomorrow. 
I know what it is, but you guys will have to wait till tomorrow to find out what it is. And uh, if this person wants to uh, be named, I'll be happy to name you. If you don't want to be named, I will keep your name top secret. Uh, let me know what you want, or maybe there'll be a note in the box. I don't know. Nobody's ever bought anything off my wish list before. I just kind of put it up there as a lark. But anyway, it's on the about page my, of my YouTube channel. So yeah, it's there. It's a thing. All right. That's it. Let me know about how you guys think the layout of the power supply should go. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.